K period just opened up and uh, we've been consolidating between that line of 29 where 2000 traded up at the bid and then we rallied up to 32 from there and now we're back down to 29 here. So, oh man, oh man, I hate to just short from 29. Mm. We're building some uh, activity at the bid. Oh man, oh man, oh man. We need to get through the 29s. Golly. Sure looks like the market wants to break down. Fifteen hundred now traded at fifty. All right, we're gonna go short. Twenty-nine, twenty-five. Anticipating the breakout. I'm not sure this is a good trade, but there you have it. We have to hit the bid quick here. I'm in trouble because our stop is uh, way close because we sold the low. And of course, in retrospect, you know, this uh, momentum turned passive instead of initiative. So what happened? We bounced up a point or two. So we need uh, we need somebody to, we need people to come in and hit the bid through this area. And this is our last trade for the day. This is our third trade. So if we don't do anything here, we uh, can't say we take... Uh, that early of a, an afternoon off, but. If this market does end up today with a uh, typical B period, or excuse me, a typical B formation, and that is long liquidation, then I would uh, look for a rally on uh, Monday back up toward the uh, previous distribution, the five day distribution's uh, point of control. Well, the 10-day distribution would be 13.57. Five-day, uh, I'm not sure if the five-day is the same. Let's see what the five-day is. Five days point of control is 42, so it's a little lower. So between the, uh, I would say the 40s and the 50s. certainly broke out of the five-day distribution. We haven't broken out of the 10-day distribution. The 10-day distribution's uh, lower limits are down uh, down around the 24s, 5 TPO, 4 TPO at 24.50, 5 TPO at 24.75. That's where our target actually is on this trade. But it doesn't look like we're going to get it. Looks like they're coming to the 3125 stop. Our stop. So that finishes it up for the day. We made 14 and a half on the first trade, lost four on the second, lost four on the third. That leaves us with about a six point gain. A lot of work for six points. We also uh, were trying something off the record that uh, I had mediocre success but was uh, interesting. 
just uh, using an artifact of one to one, trying to scalp uh, two points, or no, excuse me, trying to scalp one point with two contracts. We were at about a 50% average. Let me see, two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, about a little lower than 50% average, which is still good. To make any money uh, trading like that, you need to actually have a uh, high percentage. I haven't given up uh, checking that out. But uh, for now, we're still concentrating on doing our three trades a day and trying to maximize the trades as much as possible. This uh, this day certainly seems like it's ending up in a B formation. I would be surprised now if the K period broke down and uh, any buying volume at all could bring this market uh, up substantially. Fourteen hundred down there certainly. Uh, lose my cursor. That fourteen hundred down there, fifteen hundred. And remember, previous that two thousand was uh, too much passive trade, and then they hit the ass, and brought it up a couple points. And that's right within the uh, framework of the the day's B period or B looking formation, B type formation. So we'll produce the video and see you Monday. Have a good weekend.